So in this video, we're going to formulate finding the longest path from A to F as an LP problem, so as a linear programming problem. So first of all, we want to maximize. So we've got the weights times by their indicator variables. So eight lots of AB and then seven lots of AC. So we're not having B, A, or C, A, because they're going back to the starting vertex. We've got three lots of B, C, or three lots of C, B. We've got nine lots of B, D, or nine lots of D, B. We've got ten lots of C, D, or ten lots of D, C. We've got eight lots of DE, or eight lots of ED, or 20 lots of CF, or seven lots of DF, or 16 lots of EF. So that's my objective function. Now, I recognize that uh, I'm not doing FC, FD, or FE, because F is the end vertex, so I'm not going back, OK? Right, so hopefully that's all of them. Right, OK, so now for the constraints. So subject to, OK? So subject to, uh, so we want a constraint for each of the vertices. So let's start with A. So AB plus AC, uh, that's going to have to be equal to 1, because I'm going to choose one of those roots. Uh, then for B, I've got all the roots coming in, which are AB or CB or DB. Take away all the roots going out. Um, we're not going to have B, A, because that'll be going back to the start vertex. Uh, take away B, C and B, D, and that's got to be equal to zero. For C, uh, we've got A, C going in, B, C uh, or D, C, not F, C, because that's coming from the end vertex. Take away all the roots going out, which could be CB, uh, CD, and uh, CF. And that's going to be equal to zero. Then you've got vertex D. So all the roots in are BD, CD, uh, not FD, ED. It's possible. Although uh, you wouldn't. Um, be going along ED, but I'm going to include it anyway uh, for reasons that I've spoken about in previous video. Take away all the roots coming out, so DB, uh, DC, DF, and DE. And that's got to be equal to zero. Then we've got vertex E, so all the roots going in are going to be DE. That's it. Okay, I can't have FE. And then going out, uh, ED or EF. And that's going to be equal to zero. And then we've got a constraint for F. So uh, that's all of them going in, which is CF plus DF plus EF. And only one of those should be picked, so that's going to be equal to one. Okay, right, then... Uh, we've got the added constraints to stop the repeating edges. Okay, so all of the edges that could be repeated need a constraint. So the first one is BC. So BC plus CB has got to be less than or equal to 1. We could repeat BD. So BD plus DB has got to be less than or equal to 1. We could repeat CD, so CD plus DC is less than or equal to 1. And we could repeat DE, so DE plus ED has got to be less than or equal to 1. So that stops them infinitely repeating. Uh, the edges that can't be repeated 
are AB, AC, because they're coming out the start vertex, and FE, FD, and FC, because they're coming out of the finishing vertex. But that one, that one, that one, and that one could potentially be repeated, and that's why we need those four extra constraints.